Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the normal probability distribution. We're going to learn how to find the z value, and I'm going to show you how you can find the probability between two x values in Excel. So before we get started with this example, mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about the normal probability distribution. The normal probability distribution is a bell-shaped curve and has a single peak in the center of the distribution. It is symmetrical about the mean, meaning if you cut this in half, you will get two equal parts. It is asymptotic, meaning the curves get closer to the x-axis on the left and the right, but it never really touches, and it extends indefinitely in both directions. The location of a normal distribution is determined by the mean, and the dispersion of spread is determined by the standard deviation. The arithmetic mean, median, and mode are set to be equal right here in the center. The total area under the curve is set to be 1, with 50% of the area on the left hand side and 50% on the right hand side. Now in order to convert the normal distribution into a standard normal distribution, this is the formula we use. The standard normal distribution sets the mean at 0 and the standard deviation at 1. The z value is then the distance between the selected value, known as x most of the time, and the population mean divided by the population standard deviation. So when we have a normal distribution with any mean and any standard deviation, we answer the probability questions about the distribution by first converting it to the standard normal distribution. And that's what I will demonstrate in this video. So let's get started with our example. So here the question reads, the weekly incomes of customer service agents in the banking industry follow a normal probability distribution with the mean of 1200 and a standard deviation of 100. What is the z value for the income, let's call it x, of a customer service agent who earns $1300 per week and for an agent who earns $900 per week? Hence there are two parts to this question. Let us solve the first part. In order to find the z value, we are going to apply this formula that you see right here. X here represents the customer service agent who earns 1300. Population mean as per your question is 1200 and population standard deviation is 100. So here x is 1300 minus your population mean which is 1200 divided by the population standard deviation which is 100. So if you try it in Excel or in your calculator you should get 1. So this is for x when it's equal to 1300. Now the second part of the question, what is the z value for the income, let's call it x, of a customer service agent who earns $900 per week. Now x when it's equal to 900 will be the same formula that you see here, equals to 900 minus 1200 divided by 100. So the z value for the income of the customer service agent who earns $900 per week equals to negative 3. So all we did to solve this question is we applied the formula to find the z value. The second question is asked, what is the likelihood of selecting an agent whose weekly income is between 1000 and 1100? Now as we discussed earlier, in order to find the likelihood here, which is referring to the probability, we will first need to solve for the z value for each of these x values. Next, we're going to find the probability between those two points. So let's get started here. So for x, when it's equal to 1000, the z value is equals to 1000 minus your population mean which is 1200 divided by your population standard deviation of 100. So this gives you a z value of negative 2. Now when x equals to 1100, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to solve first for the z value. So 1100 minus 1200 divided by 100. So we're basically applying the formula that you see right here. So that gives you negative 1. Now the idea here is negative 1 is right there. 
and negative 2 is right here. So you are trying to find the area between these two points. To get to this, we can either use the Z table or we can use Excel. So I'm going to show you how you can find this in Excel. In Excel, you can make use of the norm s dist function. So we are going to find first the norm s dist function value for negative 1. So z value when it's negative 1. And here we're going to choose true. If you choose true, you are basically getting the value on the left side of the curve until negative 1. Okay. So this 1587 is the area under the curve until negative 1. Now we're going to go ahead and find the norm s dist value for negative 2. And here again we're going to choose true. So again the idea here is the resulting probability is the area under the curve until negative 2. I'm going to increase it to four decimal places because that's how you usually see it in your table. So if you take the difference between these two, this will give you the area within these two lines. Here you're looking at the likelihood of an agent whose weekly income is between 1000 and 1100. So when you found your z value, you found negative 2 and negative 1. So in your curve, negative 1 is right here, negative 2 is right there. So basically you're trying to find the area between these two lines. So you found the probability of negative 1 and you found the probability of negative 2 using the true statement. So if you take the difference of these two, the resulting point 1359 is the area between negative 1 and negative 2. So the answer for the second question is 0.1359. Let's move on now to the next question. The next question reads, what is the probability of selecting an agent whose income is less than 790? We're going to apply the same technique. So using the formula we saw earlier, we're first going to find the z value. So for x when it's 790, the z value is 790 minus the mean, which as per the question is 1200, divided by the standard deviation, which is 100. So when x is 790, the z value is negative 4.1. So now the question is basically asking us, what is the probability of selecting an agent whose income is less than negative 4.1? So going back to the bell curve here, negative 4.1 is somewhere around here. So as we discussed earlier, the curve never really touches the x-axis, but tends to go on infinitely towards the left and the right. So here, negative 4.1 will assume it's somewhere around here. The probability, keep in mind, will be very, very low. So again here, we're going to use the norm dot s dot dist function. And here for z value, we're going to put negative 4.1 and we're going to still use the true function. So here, as you can see, the probability is very low. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question reads, what is the probability of selecting an agent whose income is between 840 and 1200? So we're going to apply the same technique that we applied here in the um, second question. So here again, we need to find the z value for x when it's 840, and we need to find the z value for x when it's 1200. So let's get started with that. So here we're going to do 840 minus 1200 divided by the standard deviation and let's find the z value for x when it's 1200 so this gives us the values of 0 and negative 3.6 so we're trying to find the area between these two points so we're going to apply the same function First, let's find for negative 3.6, and we're still using the cumulative statement. And let's do the same 
before when z equals to zero. Okay. Now taking the difference of these two values is going to give us the probability that we're looking for. So the answer for this question is 0.4998. So this is the probability between negative 3.6 and zero. Now let us work on our last question. So the last question is, what is the probability of selecting an agent whose income is between 1,150 and 1,250? So again, we're applying the same technique. We're first going to solve for the Z value. So when X is 1,150, the Z value is, Double check your values. Standard deviation is 100, mean is 1200. And when x is 1250, let us find the z value. So this is negative 0.5 and positive 0.5. So negative 0.5 will be somewhere around here and positive 0.5 will be around here. So we're going to find the probability between these two points. So again, we're going to use the norm as test function. Here, we're going to put negative 0.5 and we're using the true statement. Here again, we're going to use the norm as test function and we're looking for positive 5. Let me round it down to four decimal places. So this point 3085 is the probability on the left side of negative 0.5 and the probability of 0.6915 is on the left side of 0.5. Taking the difference of these two probabilities will give us the probability between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5. So this is how we can use Excel to find probabilities for the standard normal distribution.